Hello everyone, Benji Sales here, and we finally made it. That's right, today is the real kickoff to E3 season. And for this video, I am going to be doing a live reaction and a breakdown to the debut gameplay footage for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now, we have seen this game once before. It was more of, you know, just like a story trailer where we got a lot of the cutscenes, the setup for the narrative, and where they're going with the plot on this game. And I thought it looked amazing, right? I thought all the story beats, felt right i really liked the direction they were going with the character you know kind of like on the run from these inquisitors who are, are hunting down the last few remaining jedi um you know i thought it was like a, a really cool concept um so yeah i'm hoping we see a lot of lightsaber action today in this footage obviously you know this is an action game at heart so i'm very curious to see how they're going to handle the combat but i also want to see a bit of the exploration how you're going to be doing some of the side content in this game because while it is an action game i have a feeling you know that they're going to be pushing some of the exploration in the world as well you know kind of like how we saw with you know god of war 2018 i'm not saying it's going to be the, the exact same setup but that's the vibe from some of the things that i've been hearing that it does have some of that like interconnected level type exploration stuff so you know i'm excited to see what they're going to do there with that this game is made by respawn you know who is of course famous for titanfall and apex legends and so they are an amazing studio. Now, I'm going to be doing the reaction first, you know, the live reaction, watching it as it unfolds. And then at the very end of this video, you know, I'll give a breakdown of my thoughts, you know, what I think looked good, what I find intriguing, um, and, you know, what else, you know, I'm going to be looking forward to. So first, let's dive into the actual gameplay. All right, here we go. Here we go. 15 minutes, uncut. Man, I've been waiting for this a long time. I know many of you have as well. I think this is going to be the Star Wars game we've all been waiting for. Man, we're getting a menu and everything. This is raw, raw gameplay. Press A. Xbox marketing, of course. Oh, man. All right. Whew, love the character design. Some people have said he looks kind of generic, but I like it. I think it's cool design. It's not super flashy, doesn't need to be. Ooh, traversal. Yes. That old respawn Titanfall wall running coming in, huh? Imperial sap refinery lies dead ahead. Yo! The Empire wall with tree sap. Nothing good. Yo! Powerful compound in a rush. Rogue One. Am I crazy? Like the droid. Like the droid. It's a cute little guy. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. Use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. Camera Mahan's an awesome actor, by the way. Understood. Shameless, Gotham. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Lovely. This all feels very Star Wars. They nailed that. Like, they nailed the tone. We're freeing the Wookiees. Oh, baby. Uh, oh, force powers, too. Of course, but still, it's awesome to see. I mean, it looks great, visually.
We got a battle going on. I like how force powers are incorporated with traversal, right? Helps you get around the environment. Not just for combat, but for traversal as well. I like that. Right, a Jedi wouldn't always be using their force powers only in combat. They could be very useful in a lot of situations. There we go. Mmm. Oh, baby. <gasps> okay. Dude, that was like that Kylo Ren power that we saw, right? We stopped the blaster bolt. Yo, this looks sick. This I'm already day one. Man, I, I kind of like how they're not just taking tons of hits. You know, you feel lethal. As a Jedi. Whoo! As a Jedi should, right? A Jedi should be a beast. Here we go. We're going to get a dual duel. Oh man, this is almost like Dark Souls-ish, right? It's what it's kind of reminding me of. This boss battle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, nice. Man, these finishers are freaking sweet. Lots of variety, too, right? He's not just using the same one. You're seeing a lot of variety in these finishing moves. Ah. Okay. Hiding that loading screen. <laughs> hey, I'll rather take that than a loading screen any day. Ooh. Interesting. I'm liking all the variety we're seeing in stormtroopers already. We've already seen, like, literally several different kinds of stormtroopers. Man, that stop time mechanic is sick. This looks awesome, right? I mean, this looks great. We got lots of combat, we got traversal. Okay. I love that they're just showing raw, uncut gameplay. Like, it's legit. Like, this is the game. Love that. I'm liking all the creatures too, like all the different fauna. This is awesome. I wonder if you can fight them as well. I mean, I'm assuming, right? I'm assuming you can fight these creatures if you wanted.
Oh, I actually think we might be about to see just that. <clears throat> yep, okay. Ooh! Man. Okay. Ooh, stream's kind of going to... Skill point. Just leveled up, okay. Skill point acquired. So clearly, you know, we're going to be leveling up different skills and, you know, RPG style, I'm guessing. Makes sense. Send Echo. Send. The base. Got another breach down here. Okay. So it's like collectibles. Force Echo. Oh! 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 Damn! Oh, man. Oh. Whoa. That was crazy. Cool, just like little moment there. Swimming's in. Cool, cool. Man, those vines. This looks awesome. I mean, this looks amazing. This is absolutely day one purchase. Love the wall running. <laughs> At least we have the high ground. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Woo! That's never going to get old, is it? Baby. I don't think using force powers and blasting dudes with sabers is, is uh, going to ever get boring. Pretty big levels, right? Like, like you're moving a lot. It's not like an arena type smaller, you know. Like, you're really large levels. <laughs> Waved him in. Bro, that ain't what you want. Blaster reflections, awesome. Tell you what, he's strong, huh? Man, I like how he tried to stop himself from the force pull. Sick. Nice, small attention to detail. Look at the damage showing up on him. I like that. I like that little interactions with your droids helping you heal and stuff. Awesome. Oh, guards. 
Wookies! Let them out! Are we about to get a Chewbacca cameo? Is that what's about to happen? You know it's where they're going with this. We got a Chewie! Maybe. I mean, it's not confirmed, but maybe. Oh! Ooh! Oh, man. This looks amazing. Gatling. Phenomenal. Yes. Nicely done. Respawn. Nicely done. Xbox marketing. That looks incredible. That looks incredible. Wow. Wow. Okay. That looked amazing. It was basically everything I've been wanting in a Star Wars game for so long. Um, I loved how lethal, you know, the uh, lightsaber fighting felt. You know, it, it could have easily been one of those things where it's like you're just wailing on stormtroopers like the regular grunt dudes, you know, 10 times to get a kill. And, you know, they just can just sit there and take tons of hits, which doesn't make any sense, right? If you've ever watched any Star Wars movie, when does that happen, right? I loved how, you know, he would just cut people down, um, you know, except for like the more powerful ones, but like, you know, just the regular grunt dudes. I loved that. I loved the lethality of the lightsaber combat. I loved that, you know, I already, you know, I mentioned this during the reaction, but I loved how the force powers were being used for a variety of things, right? It wasn't just in combat, just, you know, throwing dudes. I liked how, you know, he was using it to stop things that were moving so he could traverse the environment, how he was pulling, you know, um, like ropes and vines and stuff to him so he could swing right he didn't have to jump out for them he could just you know bring them to him um and of course using it in combat in a ton of different ways stopping saber bolts pulling enemies towards him throwing enemies all kinds of stuff so force powers feel very cool they don't feel too over the top right that was one thing that i know some people had some issues with why like in the old uh, force unleashed games was that like the force felt so ridiculously powerful here it felt you know in tone with the movies right it didn't feel like it would be completely out of context with the kind of things that you see the jedi and the sith do in the movies so um i i thought that felt very good the art style and, and the graphics were on point i mean it felt fully star wars it did not feel like some kind of weird side thing i mean it felt like straight up star wars in a good way um yeah, not a ton of dialogue there. I was, you know, the, the first trailer was kind of more of that story focused. So I get here, it was way more about gameplay. But I was hoping we would get a little bit, a little bit of story stuff sprinkled in as well too. But I think this was really just to show how the game played. Um, and yeah, that's mostly my thoughts. Uh, I like traversal, I like wall running. Um, that's cool. You know, like I mentioned earlier, Respawn's already well known for that. So, you know, it fits right into their wheelhouse. And yeah, I, I mean, I think it looks great. I think it looks amazing. This is a day one purchase for me, absolutely. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. You know, if you thought it looked good, if it didn't really impress you, um, you know, let me know. And if you like the video, make sure to hit that like and comment uh, and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you don't follow me already make sure you follow me on twitter i am at benji sales thanks for watching everybody and i will see you in the next video